Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog and I'm back here at Clark International Airport and we will be going to Boracay and I am with my family. I will be treating them here sa Boracay and I'm just so so excited na lumabas ulit with them kasi yung last na labas namin was before pandemic pa na sama-sama. So super super excited for this trip. We're going to Boracay! We were really anxious etong time na to or etong day na to because this was the day na dumating yung Betty na typhoon and dito yung oras na naglandfall na siya sa bar. So super super kaba namin etong flight na to but thank God hindi na delay yung flight, maganda yung panahon, may araw and with that super excited ng lahat. Super excited namin na makapunta ng Boracay and first time makapunta ng mom and dad ko sa Boracay so I'm just so excited to show them how beautiful Boracay oh, is. Boracay, here we go. As you can see here, sobrang ganda ng flight namin papuntang Boracay. Maaraw, there's no sign of rain, yung clouds, hindi magkaka-turbulence or whatsoever. Super smooth ng flight namin papuntang Boracay. So now we're here at Katiklan Airport or what you call the Boracay Airport, King and Baggage. And then nag-transfer lang kami to the Jetty Port. So as you can see here, we did avail a private transfer from the airport to the hotel because again, we are with my mom and dad. Matanda na sila, senior citizen ng si mama. So, medyo mahira na, if gawin namin yung usual way para mag-transfer from the airport to the hotel. So, nag-private na lang kami para smooth yung way namin, hindi masakit yung katawan, mabilis, and Hindi mahirapan si mama and papa. So after an hour of travel, land, or via boat, nakarating na kami here sa aming hotel, which is the Fairways and Blue Water Hotel. So we picked this one because it has a private beach inside, and para ma enjoy niya na mama yung Boracay. So we were actually really early with our check-in time and one room pa lang yung available. So we checked in there, nag-stay muna kami and then had lunch here sa my hotel para hindi na kami lumabas. And kumain na kami here, we enjoyed our lunch. And then after that, we slept, nagpahinga muna kami and then we ended the night with a board game kasi nag enjoy kami with the family na naglalaro ng mga board games. Dala-dala namin niya here sa Boracay para hindi kami ma-board if in case wala kami magawa dahil nga umuulan and pumabagyo dito sa Boracay. Good morning! It's the next day and we're going to the beach! Kapon, nag-relax lang kami kasi sobrang hassle nga ng pagpunta namin. Pero ngayon, pumunta na kami sa beach. And then after namin sa beach, we'll for breakfast and then pupunta na kami sa D-Mall later. Ang tatagal po nila. Ito sila. So now we're going to the private beach ng Fairways and Blue Water. And what's good about this hotel is that my service, pwede ka pumunta anywhere sa hotel and hindi ka mahahassle sa pagpunta din. Medyo malaki tong hotel na to. And here is their private beach. Malaki siya. Hindi siya crowded. Peaceful. And calm yung dagat. Hindi siya nasa way ng habagat. When she leaves the store with the gang of ice Feeling 24 white girl Sipping white claw, looking so bad, like an outlaw. Ooh, yeah, that white girl, sipping white claw, with that Euro swag, wearing no bra. Ooh, yeah, that white girl, sipping white claw, always turning up to her favorite songs. Ooh, yeah, that white girl, sipping white. Wait. <laughs> Bye. 
after swimming for about an hour or so, nag-decide na kami na mag-breakfast na. So, even wet, you can actually eat sa may buffet breakfast nila kasi meron silang outdoor na place for the breakfast area. So, that was our breakfast. Sobrang sarap. We're going to eat Satoshi Sons. And you're blurred, Kayo guys. And this is what we ordered here sa my two seasons. And hindi ka makukompleto yung Boracay trip mo without eating here sa my two seasons. So we ordered pizza, oyster sisig, and also pasta. Masarap? Masarap? Good. Onya man. Masarap? And this is what Station 1 looks like if may bagyo or habagat. And ganyang kalalaki yung mga waves and sobrang takas ng hangin. And hindi talaga, wala talagang mga water activities na pwedeng gawin. So, nakakalungkot man, pero we still enjoyed it. Kahit medyo nasa hotel lang kami sa lahat ng oras. Then after our late lunch sa Two Seasons, we decided na mag-coffee muna and we found this cafe dito sa may likod ng Dos Mestizos. I'm not sure if connected sila with each other pero ayun, tinry lang namin yung mga coffee. So we ordered ice, hazelnut macchiato, and caramel macchiato, and ice macchiato. walking papunta sa keyhole biglang lumakas yung ulan and wala na kaming nagawa kasi wala naman wala namang ibang way so tinuloy na lang namin nagpa picture kami this It's currently 11.40am and we are ATV. Kami. Yun lang kayang adventure for today's video. Kasi super windy. Hindi kaya ng mga water activities. So, we are ATV kami sa my new coast. So, we'll tour around 1 hour and 30 minutes ata. And ganyan ganyan. 1.8. So, let's go! This is the one and only activity that we did here in Boracay. It's the ATV by the Zetro ATV and something something. Pero enjoy namin to. It's actually a new promo nila or new. Activity nila, which is this new coast na ATV experience and sobrang ganda nito and I really recommend it.
then after our second stop, naramdaman na namin yung init. Kaya we needed something to drink. So next stop over muna kami here sa may Gong Cha. Actually, yung original plan was go to 7-Eleven, but we saw this Gong Cha and we ordered some milk tea. Milk tea! <laughs> milk tea po yung mga nag-rides! <laughs> Gengge! Siya ka after that, we continued our trip. Papunta sa may Kiho, we just uh, parang nagpass by na kami sa Kiho since nakita na namin siya. And then next is the helipad. And dito yung rough road and sobrang nakakatuwa dito. Ngayon ko lang na-experience to. Ha? Kuya, kaya ba? What can you say? Kapali. Is it worth it? Worth it? Kapali. Ba? Kapali. It's it worth it. Saido. Oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to Guys, you didn't notice. Nagpupit na naman ako ng buhok ko. Medyo dinabuhan yun na naman po tayo ng aking gunting. So, ngayon, wala kami magawa dahil nga umuulan. Later, pupunta kami ng D-Mall and kakain ng dinner. Kon, kanina nag-ATV lang kami. Nag-New Coast na ATV kami kasi meron sila na parang meron silang off-road na ATV or and also new coast na ATV. So yung pinili namin is yung new coast. Actually maganda siya kasi meron pa rin siyang off-road banda dun sa may helicopter pad. And I really recommend the new coast na ATV and that is actually 1800 per person. Kung na po curious kayo. Mag-aantay lang kami na tumila yung ulan and I'm taking this as light na as a settle group tayo and <laughs> and I've been taking this one for two months already. So, iniinom ko to actually tuwing umaga. Pero, yun nga, may activity kaming ginawa kanina. So, hindi ko siya nagawa. Pero, yun nga, iniinom ko to tuwing morning. Actually, mas preferred ko siya na parang walang laman yung chan ko. Or hindi ganun ka, um, parang hindi ako masyadong busog. So, iniinom ko lang siya. And, ang ganda ng effect niya, guys. Super glowing yung skin ko. Kung naku-curious ko yung kung anin pinapatong ko pa sa skincare ko, it's this gluta tayon, guys. So, two months ko na tong iniinom, and nakadalawang bottle na ako. And this is my third bottle already. Na empty ko na yung dalawa. And shinare ko to sa family ko, and nagusto din nila, guys. This is the main reason why I get glowy, radiant, and also youthful na skin. So this glutathione has two key ingredients. It's the S-acetyl glutathione and also you superoxide this mutase. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's ito yung SOD. Etong glutathione na to, etong S-like glutathione na to, is three times na mas effective compared sa mga other glutathione na meron sa market. Yung SOD, if nakakurious ko yun, ano ba yung SOD at the ratio? So, it is extracted from a French cantaloupe na melon. This reduces the fine lines, wrinkles, and 
any sign of aging. Actually, maganda din tong glutathione has antioxidant and maganda din siya sa liver niyo. It will keep your liver healthy and nagbo-boost din yung immune system niyo while taking this glutathione. Kaya magandang maganda siya. Actually, maganda yung benefit niya kapag iniinom niyo siya. I highly highly suggest this glutathione if naghahanap kayo ng glutathione sa market. Yeah. It was raining so bad. As in, umuulan, malakas yung hangin, hindi kami makalabas. So we decided to play here sa my gaming room ng hotel, which is actually really, really fun. We enjoyed it here. Meron silang billiards and also meron silang table tennis that you could play with your friends, with your family. And ayan, sobrang nag-enjoy lang kami. Inubos lang namin yung oras namin until mawala yung ulan. So... We just had fun. <laughs> Sobrang kulit lang naman ang ginawa namin dito. And buti na lang, wala masyadong tao. And wala kaming kahate during the time na nandito kami sa gaming room ng hotel. This place, Spice Bird, was actually recommended sa TikTok. That's why we tried it out. And nag-order lang kami. So while waiting for our order, pumunta kami sa harapan ng beachfront, which is here sa may Station 2, para ma-enjoy lang namin yung sunset. And malakas pa rin yung alon due to the habagat. And ayan, ganyan kalakas yung alon, guys. But still, nag-enjoy yung mga tao na maligo dyan. Much sorrow comes from women who know not honor and truth. Here I am, just trying to be myself. It's a crazy world, looking to find my place, and all they do is. Here I am, just trying to run the race in the slow pace. All I'm trying to do is run, not win, and all they do is. Mira, Mira, tell me, what is it about them? Living like it's their game Call my static better than me You'll just end up losing So after our dinner sa Spice Bird We decided na kumain ng anything sweet So we opted for Coco Mama and also Halo Mango I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right Pero ayan yung mga matatamis na kinrave namin dito sa Boracay And finally, our day 4 here sa Boracay. So we ate muna 6 a.m. yung breakfast namin. And then after eating yung breakfast, nag-decide kami na pumunta sa Puka Beach. So after a 15 minute ride so tricycle you can actually reach or pumunta here sa Puka Beach and again malakas yung alon malakas yung hangin dahil nga sa bagat and sobrang ganda dito sa Puka Beach but sa sadly guys wala yung parang stick na Puka Beach kasi pinagbawal na raw so yung nakita na lang namin here sa Puka Beach is this sand castle and guys kami lang yung tao dito so magandang pumunta dito ng 
maaga pa. Like, mga 7am, ganyan, para wala masyadong tao. Kasi nung pag-alis namin dito, sobrang dami na ng mga papunta dito sa Puka Beach. Napagod kami and also nagutom kami. That's why we decided na kumain ng paluto here sa Boracay. And sulit ang paluto if you are a group of friends. Mas marami kayo. 7 packs to 10 packs, ganyan. Mas marami, mas sulit yung paluto. So, we ordered a bunch of seafoods kasi minsan-minsan lang yan. And sobrang gulat namin kasi... Sobrang sarap ng luto ng mga pinili namin na dishes. Okay, but hindi magiging kompleto yung Boracay trip mo without you trying the famous Jonas na food chain. Hello, Dal. <laughs> Hello. Last day. After walking, nakita na namin itong Sunny Side Cafe, but sadly, medyo mainit yung lugar dahil malapit yung kitchen nila dun sa kung saan ka pwedeng umupo. So, mainit yung buga. So, we decided na wag na lang doon magstay, but Ayan, may nakita kaming other cafe which is this smooth cafe and bagong bukas lang sila and mas maganda yung ambience and nakikita mo talaga yung beachfront and also yung vibe, iba yung vibe niya. I totally suggest na pumunta kayo dito sa cafe na to and masarap daw yung coffee nila galing sa coffee enthusiast na ate ko. What if? 
What if magbura kay tayo? Nang walang bangyo. <laughs> here sa Boracay and also our Uwian day. So, our flight was super early, 9am. So, we had to go sa airport ng mas maaga pa doon, like 2 to 3 hours early. And again, we booked a private transfer from hotel to the airport kasi nga hindi hassle and mas okay kina mama. We were really, really happy with this trip kasi kahit na bumabagyo, nag-enjoy pa rin kami, nakapag-bonding pa rin kami as family, and minsan lang maka-experience ng ganito. So, in-enjoy na lang namin kahit bumabagyo nung time na, na nag-stay kami here sa Boracay. But we are really, really grateful for this experience. We are really thankful na uh, ginaid kami ng Lord para hindi mahirapan sa mga biyahe namin. And also, uh, makarating kami ng safe pabalik sa aming um, bahay. So, thank you, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed my vlog, kahit na hindi kayo masyado interested sa mga vlogs ko. But still, thank you very, very much if you are still here. Thank you so much. Bye!